Hello, today we're going to show you how to replace a Perfect Air Quick Connect Mini Splits indoor fan blower wheel. Before we begin, make sure you disconnect power from your unit before removing anything. First, lift the front panel of the unit. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew the cover on the control board and remove the cover. Unplug the display board and pull the wire free from the interior of the unit. Remove the front panel of the unit. Lift the tabs from the hinges, then pull the panel free. Unscrew the Wi-Fi module next to the control box, unplug it from the box, and remove it. Then, lift the filters out of the brackets on the front of the unit and slide them out. Unclip the air directional lever from the bottom of the unit and remove it. Remove the six screws from the exterior casing of the wall unit. The screws on the bottom are located under tabs that will need to be lifted. Push in the tabs on the back of the casing in order to separate it from the interior unit. Then, remove the casing and place it to the side. Next, unscrew the stepper motor from the right side of the unit. Remove the outer cover from the unit's control box. Remove all plugs from the control box that connect to the wall unit. Then, unscrew the tab at the bottom of the box from the rest of the unit. Remove the zip tie holding the temperature sensor in place and unplug the temperature sensor. Then, unscrew the grounding wire. Carefully remove the control box from the unit. Unscrew the coil housing on the left side of the unit. Gently separate the coil from the housing by pushing up on the coil. Be careful not to damage the fins when doing this. On the right side, you'll need to use a screwdriver to push in a tab to allow the coils to be pulled free. Now, remove the fan motor cover and place it to the side. Unscrew the cross-flow fan blade from the brushless DC motor. There is a small opening in one portion of the fan through which you can remove the screw. You should be able to remove the cross-flow fan blade. Once you've replaced the necessary parts, you can reassemble the unit. Make sure to refer back to the early parts of this video to remember which order parts go back in. And now your mini split is ready to run. Thanks for watching.